Hello YouTube, this is BSQL Hacker Tutorials and today I will show you a better way to create a Windows executable file from a Python script. Normally this way will be used for creating exe of large Python programs in which when we create a lot of scripts and then we import to each of the script in another and then create a big program and especially for GUI programs. So today I'll show you a very easy way and to do this we need a plugin just like py 2 exe you have to install um, the cx underscore freeze it's a really good library I should say yeah it's really good and it's really helpful when we're creating exe of GUI program so to install it we'll use pip which is pre-installed package installer for python we'll, s we'll go to python 3, 4 and our python directory and inside there there is a folder scripts we'll go to that so i'll do it using cmd and you have to use cmd if you want to use pip so just see how i do it so here i am in the scripts directory and now i'll type pip 3 install cx underscore f r e z do you remember that in freeze f is capital letter i'll press enter i have already installed it so it showed requirement already satisfied in your one to download and then install automatic so now here i have a small gui program which says hello world normally and i'm using tk enter so i'll run it and i'll show you so here you can see all it does is it shows hello world in a small window so we'll make GUI um, exe of the script and here is setup.py this is important as you know in py to exe also we used it so in this one it's really simple I'll have all the codes in my description so it says from cx underscore freeze import setup executable in setup it's a tuple so I just organized it nicely so setup name is you can use any name you want I've used GUI program version you can give anything you like description also but here executables executable and this part is your script your top level script actually in when you create a big program there is that one top level file in which you import everything and then you run the program so basically it will be that script name and the base should be win32 gui or yeah this is really important so that y when you uh, you know using py2exe when you create an exe file when you run it uh, command prompt comes either it's gui or normal but it's always run with an a command prompt so to to not have a command prompt you have to type this line base equals to win32 gui so this was our setup.py using cx underscore freeze you have to have all the files in the python directory so all your files that you have in your program just cut them or copy them to your python directory so here it, i will paste them and now you have to use command prompt to create it so i'll just go a little bit back into our python directory so here it is python 3 4 and now I'll type python and the setup.py and front of it I have to type build and I'll press enter so this will create the windows executable so as you can see here we got the build folder and let's wait for this command shell to finish so what cx underscore freeze does is it copies all the library which is used and all the modules which is used from python and all the imported ones to the build folder so it's done let me show you here inside the build uh, first let's just copy this or cut it it's better to cut in desktop and i'll show you that you can do anything with the folder you can just rename it we'll rename it to, to gy a normal name and here inside this exe.win32 open the file folder and then here you will find your gui.exe so what it did is it just created a zip file and some folders and everything and dlls for windows so here we got our file we'll run it and it does the same thing as you can see 
so as you know in windows to create a windows file you must have some dlls and a lot of other things so that you can match the windows version and everything using cx underscore freeze it it does everything by itself and that's really easy as you saw it was really easy to create an exe file so if you have any problem problem regarding python and creating executables or any codes comment on my video and i'm gonna help you as soon as possible thank you for watching my video i hope you liked it